This is the best one for life so far. Uh, well, it was the best one for life so far. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back in Universe Sandbox, and today, we're going to try to terraform a planet. So yeah, guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so we're gonna have to start with something different. We can't just start with... Uh, the planets that we have in our regular solar system we're going to have to add a planet and i think let's just go ahead and add some random rocky planet in and see if we can get water on it or uh, get some other stuff on it to make it actually turn into an earth style planet all right so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and add something so let's go ahead and see if we can find yeah an exoplanet i think that should do and let's have it orbiting in or close to earth's orbit there okay and its name is kepler uh negative 374 d let's go ahead and change that name real quick all right that'll do disaster that sounds like a, a wonderful planet name now i do believe that this planet has water on it let's go ahead and take a look at the composition here yeah most of it here is water so the first thing that we need to do is add solids to this planet and oh whoa holy cow okay so how do we get it to where there's not a lot of water but there's still water maybe if we collide some asteroids in it we can get some land masses where things can actually grow on so let's go ahead and throw some asteroids at this planet all right here comes the asteroid heading towards the planet disaster and uh it is going to be a disaster and there we go nothing happened okay we need to try something a little bigger to get some more land masses here hopefully we don't destroy all life on this planet and you know cause the water to completely evaporate and there we go it has collided with our planet let's speed up things a little bit and see if it actually created any uh mountain peaks or anything nope still nothing um it has created somewhat of a dent it's kind of gone there but uh, let's see what else we can do. It doesn't look like we're going to be getting any mountain peaks, so we might have to just create a water planet here. Of course, we have surface gravity, we have motion. Uh, really, we want to be looking for composition, so uh, we've got hydrogen. We don't really want to touch that at all. There's some iron. That'll give us a core, so why don't we put that there? Um, and I should mention, I have no idea how to terraform a planet, so this is probably going to be terrible. It will be a disaster, just as the planet's name suggests. Um, life likelihood. We want to get that up, but the Earth similarity is nice. Um, so yeah. What happens if we go ahead and speed up time? Usually, uh, time helps with things here. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is uh, a little crazy. Hey, look at that. We've got something appearing on the surface. Oh wow, that is very unevenly heated there. Um, I think I figured out why this planet isn't really working out for... Uh, life but take a look at this if we slow things down again look at the top of our planet here we're actually seeing the water kind of receding from this part and there's ice so so that's really good now we can change the orbital speed oh um that was a really bad idea seems like the entire planet has now frozen all right that was a resounding disaster so let's go ahead and rename this planet and try again. Disaster take two. There we go. Let's go ahead and change up the planet here and see if we can get at least something resembling Earth. So let's get um, a bit of solid iron. That's our core. All right, so we have different options here to show us what our elevation is. Of course, temperature, displacement, uh, water vapor pressure, uh, liquid water depth, uh, ice thickness, all that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and add some moons for fun here. So let's quickly click add. And then let's go ahead and get some moons. All right. I've added some moons. And as you can see, there's our planet disaster take two. And some of our moons right here. Now, none of these are really nice looking. They're all pretty terrible, to be honest. And uh, we're really just going to try to make our Earth or our second earth or disaster take to a real planet and we really need an atmosphere for that so let's see if we can add that i want to see if we just play around with things here if it changes anything what about hydrogen oh whoops might have just destroyed the planet a little bit there 
Obviously, this is uh, not a really good planet whatsoever. I don't think life uh, could exist on this planet. Well, it does have a 31% Earth similarity rating, which is pretty interesting, although life likelihood is... Uh, as expected, 0%. Alright, I think we're going to have to move in a different direction here. I know if you spawn in moons, you have a chance of getting one that actually looks like uh, a livable planet. And is like a livable planet, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and try that. Alright, so let's add just a few here. See which ones are gonna be the best for our, pretty much harnessing life. So, uh, let's slow things down a bit here, so we can actually see what's going on. Alright, this one looks a bit interesting here. Getting really close to this other planet here. Hopefully we don't crash into it. Actually, this this is the best one for life so far. And, well, it was the best one for life so far. Um, unfortunately, that's gone now. Well, obviously none of these moons are really going to work out for us. So there's only one other thing that we can do. And that is to spawn in more of them. Oh, wow. Really big collisions happening here. All right. So there's a lot of contenders here. Obviously, uh, there's quite a lot of um, eclipses happening on our dying Earth. All right, here's the lucky one. Not that. That is not what I wanted to click on. Oh my gosh, a 7.58% life likelihood. This is it. We need to make sure this thing doesn't die. So first things first, we need to adjust the composition here. Um, let's take a look at that. Uh, core let's make it a little better here there we go uh i'm not going to touch the water no hydrogen we want to make sure that we are oh i just made it worse apparently um okay i have determined that uh the smaller the core is on this planet the better uh it's going to be what if we have no core okay let's take a look at that Ooh, 7.61 percent life likelihood without a core it seems like everything is a lot better here okay so what next? All right, so we're gonna speed up time a bit and see what happens with our life likelihood. Well, it does seem to be going down, which is a bit interesting. Um, are we losing something? Um, ah, okay. So I see what's happening here. If we add water, um, it, did I just kill it? Oh, oh no, really? Oh, Oh, wow, that looks terrible. That is... Okay, well, we just ruined the only, you know, inhabitable moon in our solar system, so that's just fantastic. All right, so my plan is to add planets instead of moons here. So let's quickly just spawn a bunch of them here and see what happens. So there's a few here. That one obviously isn't going to work. Uh, this is a gas planet, so that's not going to work either. How about hat? It looks a little interesting. Another gas planet. And we have wasp over here. Wasp seems to be interesting. Um, it's closer to Jupiter and everything. Let's take a look at Kepler. Kepler is just a water planet or whatever. So um, that's not really going to work out. Let's spawn a bunch more here. Kepler 214C seems to be the best at the moment. Oh, nope. Oh, hold on. We might have had a winner. This might be it. Kepler 1388C. We gotta rename that to something lucky here. Earth 2. There we go. Now we're talking. That's pretty creative. Uh, it's 1.58% like Earth, I think. So let's take a look at the life likelihood. 17%! That's what we're talking about. That is what we need. So we need to make this more like Earth. Um, and I'm scared I might destroy it. Um, a lot of the planet is water, though. Let's change that. Let's bring the water down and make sure the solids... I'll stick with the same solid that it gives us here. And let's take a look at our life like the end. 44%! Oh my gosh, we might actually have a working planet here if we keep going. So let's bring the water even further down here. Alright, so let's change the percentage to 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, you know, 10, I guess. What happened? Oh, hold on. 77.1% like Earth. That doesn't look like Earth at all. What happened? Um, let's go ahead and speed up time a bit. It's actually staying stable, which is very good. However, everything is covered in snow. Let's take a look at the surface temperature. All right, so let's go ahead 
Uh, change this to Fahrenheit. All right, so this is a nice, stable temperature. There's a lot of ice on the planet, um, which is a little interesting. Um, but we have water, too. Looks like there's an impact crater down there as well. This might work. Let's go ahead. Let's speed up time a little more and see what happens. Well, what's really good is that we have a 92-ish percent uh, Earth similarity rating there and we have an 85% life likelihood, which is really good This is all really good stuff So now we can bring all the people from Earth onto this planet so they can destroy this one as well. So yeah All right guys, you just make sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time guys. Goodbye Bye.